I often get asked, Salvador, now that you're retired and you're not working, what is it that you do with your time? So I thought today what I would do is for all of you that are trying to figure out, should I retire because do I have the time to retire? And the, do I have the, what am I going to do with my time? I thought I'd share with you uh, some of what I do because it's, it's easy to get caught into the idea that you're going to be bored, you're not going to have anything to do. But what you start to realize in very short order is that there's a lot of things that you wanted to do or that if you had the time to do them, you would do those things. And for me, a lot of what I thought I wanted to do um, and didn't have time for, I'm getting all of those things done and there's quite a bit of stuff. So now I don't even know what I would do if I had to go back to work. So just walking you through how my day started. So every other Monday, we have somebody that comes and helps us with some of the deep cleaning around the house. And so that's usually about 10 o'clock every other Monday. They didn't show up today, so I had to figure something else out. And the worst thing you can do is mess with a retired guy's schedule. <laughs> because we have it all mapped out, at least it seems. So what I decided to do was I started, I, I started off the top and I thought to myself, you know, I'm doing this YouTube thing and I don't really know much about making YouTube videos. It seems interesting. There's a lot of information to get out and there may be somebody that can learn something from me telling my story or maybe um, inspiring people to, to explore retiring early that may have some apprehension. And because I'm not some guru, it, it may make it a little bit less intimidating. And so, I, you know, as I started looking at the YouTube thing, I, I, I looked around YouTube as, as most people do. And there are a lot of really professionally made videos. I mean, there's Hollywood, there's Broadway, and there's YouTube. And it's, it's, it's to be honest, it's fairly overwhelming. And so, but I'm, here I am, I'm trying it. And I thought to myself, how can I step my YouTube game up a little bit? I did that in business, did that in life, tried to constantly step my game up. And so you should notice from my earlier videos, the lights are a little bit better. I'm using the camera on my iPhone. I got myself a little microphone, so you should hear me better. So let me know how those improvements, if they've enhanced or hurt the, hurt the, the, the process. But I went on Amazon. And I found uh, I, last night I researched cameras, I researched lights, I researched tripods, I researched the whole thing, ordered this morning a light and a microphone from Amazon, got them this evening, and here we are now. So I, I did all of that this morning, at, not long after I got up. Um, but let me know how I look. Let me know how I sound. I, I like to think... Um, everything is perfect and I'm some kind of supermodel, but I know that may be the case for some and not for others, but let me know how I look um, on this on this video. Uh, if, the, if, the, if the video looks a little bit better, if I should continue going with this format, if the light works, if I have a reflection of my light because it's turned around, I can't see myself. Um, then the next thing I did is I went to the container store because if you if you look behind me, what you see is you see a blank wall, but I have a piano, I have some turntables, I have some records. And what I like to do is create a wall that's a shelf wall where I can have records that are stored and displayed, where I can have my YouTube set up there. I can have my piano there and do all of that. So I finished up the design there and I've, I've ordered that. Um, so that's going to come in. Uh, and that took a little bit of time because it's on the other side of town. Um, but it's, it's really going to look nice. So I'm, I'm interested to hear what you think when you see it, when it gets delivered. Um, and then I, one of the other things that, that's really big on my list is I have a pretty extensive garden. I, I really enjoy gardening. I, I started gardening actually probably about 10 years ago. I like growing my own food. I like growing things. And I finally got to the point where I'm growing things that I eat as opposed to growing things just to grow them. So I've got watermelon, onions, um, carrots, celery, lettuce. I grew peanuts last year. I've got some collard greens out there. I've got cabbage, a um, couple of avocado trees that grew from a compost pile that I had. Just planted some squash, summer squash and winter squash, planted some cucumbers and watermelon. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but what I needed to do because we're just hit the spring, the weather's good. 
I went out, got some soil, got some compost, went to the nursery, got a little bit of fertilizer just to go ahead and get that started. So I could set it, forget about it. And it starts to, it's, it starts to come into full bloom in a couple of weeks, or at least starts to, starts to come up. Um, the next thing I did is as I was doing my errands, right, as I like to call my runs, I just checked in with some friends of mine. I have a, I have some good friends uh, that I don't, I don't keep a large, expansive group of friends, but my, the friends that I do have are a pretty tight circle of friends. So I like to check in with them about once a week. I understand that they're working, but it's still a way for me to stay connected to them, make sure they're okay, see if there's anything I can do to help them um, with stuff that's going on in their lives. Because I happen to be the guy that I'm around during the day, and if there's errands they need to run, something they need dropped off at UPS, I'm the guy that can help them with that. So I checked in with my friends just to see how they're doing. I finish. I got home, finished some of the final touches on my spring garden, enjoyed a nice glass of wine with that, listened to a little bit of Miles Davis while I was doing that, spoke to some neighbors while I was doing it, then cooked dinner, and had a nice dinner, had some pork chops, had some, oh, I'm, I forgot to mention, I went grocery shopping for uh, dinner in between, or on my way home from the nursery. Um, so we had some pork chops, we had some, uh, what did we have? We had pork chops, we had some spinach, um, it was, it was really good and, and some beans, uh, nice, just wholesome, healthy dinner. Uh, because again, how I eat, my health is really important. You may not know that from some of the desserts that I had, uh, some of the chocolates that I had, but it's just enjoying having a really good meal with my wife. We watched some TV, we watched some Dateline, uh, on TV. And then I set up the YouTube studio. I, I came in here and put up my uh, camera, put up the lights, and just started getting ready for this here, which, which probably took all of about uh, 15 minutes. But, you know, that was really the course of my day. And folks, today's only Monday. And so I still have four more days of the week. But I asked myself, what would I do if I had to work and I didn't have this time? I wouldn't have time to do the things that I need to do. And as, we, as, you, as you think about working and starting to try to make that decision as a re, whether or not you can retire early, um, if you speak to your professional and your professional says you can do it, you can make it work with a couple of small adjustments, do it. Because you start to realize that the only resource that you have that is non-renewable is time. And the fact is, is we know time is valuable because with all of these mega corporations paying all of these people all of this money, and in a lot of cases, not enough. The one thing they're paying you for is your time. So take your time back. There's, you know, we all have things, you all have things that are really important to you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's interests, because we only live once and we only have a limited time to get ourselves the things that it is that we want it, that we want to have in life. So I would just encourage you to take a look at your time, take a look at uh, whether or not you're able to retire and, and really think about if you're not there yet, which a lot of us aren't, uh, put together a plan, start thinking about a time frame. Because once you start putting that time together and you start holding yourself accountable to it and create that accountability for uh, you know, certain milestones, then what you'll find is you'll get closer and closer and closer. And you'll start to find that you don't need necessarily as much as you, as you want, as you think you do. But it's not until you really pull all those pieces together, get out of debt, pay off those high interest credit cards, try not to get into high interest uh, obligations, uh, try to stick with cash. If you have credit cards, pay them off at the end of the month, max out those retirement accounts so you can hold on to more money and pay less in taxes, but really start taking those steps that are going to help you get to um, where it is that you're trying to go. Because I will... You know, one of the pieces of advice that I get from a friend of mine that I walk with once a week is that there's a point where you just wish you would have done more. You wish you would have spent more time with your family. You wish you would have spent more time with your friends or you've cultivated those things you want or you want to spend more time with your spouse. Uh, because when when you get to the point where you can't, then that's when you wish you did it. So that's about as far as I was going today. But again, I. I noticed there are people that this channel is getting off to a great start, but I would just ask that 
hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've recently retired and, and you have some, you have some questions, um, or some things that you'd like to add to the channel. Because again, I don't claim to know it all. I'm just speaking from my experience, but I would like to hear from you to really understand, you know, what's, what's been your experience or what are some of your fears? And we could talk through some of those because we all have some of the same fears and we all want to make sure that we're okay and we're able to take care of ourselves and our families. So, uh, if you, again, I look forward to hearing from you and, and thanks again for taking time to, uh, to come to this channel and, and, and listen to, to me and, and ask Sabado what's, what's, uh, you know, what's the real deal. I'm always going to give you the truth. I, I say to all my friends, if I care enough to answer the question, it's always going to, if I care enough about you to answer, the, to answer the question, it's always going to be the truth. And folks, I care about each and every one of you and I'm going to give you the truth. So thank you again for coming to my channel. And if this isn't your first time, welcome back. And I hope to hear from you soon. All right. Thanks.